hello everyone i hope all of you are doing well uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel at awareness in order to view more such contents and to encourage the efforts so today is our second tutorial for homology modeling with modeler uh, first of all we need to uh, download the sequence of the structure which need to be modeled we need to have the query structure uh, of the protein uh, to which which needs modeling which needs homology model uh, and we also need to have templates template structure uh, which will be uh, which will serve the basis for modeling the query structure so at first we need to download the structure download the protein sequence if structure is not available so that's what we are modeling so we don't we need to download the protein sequence of the query structure query structure is the one that needs to be modeled so we'll go to ncbi uh, we'll browse protein because we need to have the sequence of protein so i need to uh, i need to have the sequence of nshcv hepatitis c virus and it's ns3 protease it's genotype 3a of which structure is not available so i will ask to uh, give me the sequence that is uh, being uh, reported from Pakistan so I will go to polyprotein these are the two partial protein I'll, I'll go to polyprotein so this is a whole uh, whole polyprotein uh, HCV virus is encoded in the form of whole polyprotein. It contains many protein uh, that's, uh, that are responsible for making envelop, uh, for making uh, uh, scapsid and other functional, uh, other function like RNA polymerase and uh, the protein that are responsible for uh, pa its packaging and uh, that are ultimately being packed inside the cell and go out of the cell after its whole replication so there is there is one protein ns3 protease that cleaves this whole polyprotein and if we stop this if we stop this protein uh, from its function uh, the it it will results that uh, the HCV polyprotein will not be cleaved into individual proteins so in this way HCV in infection can be stopped so uh, we need to uh, have the sequence of NS3 protease because we are going for um, uh, drug designing and uh, for drug designing we need to have the structure but its, it's uh, protein structure is not available so we uh, we will model the structure so we we need to search an s3 protease uh, this uh, the the whole case uh, was important to brief you uh, the background the, the essence the purpose of uh, modeling the structure that is not the part of the homology modeling but it it is important to have the background knowledge that why we are constructing the uh, homology model of the protein so if we search is ns3 protease yeah this is the ns3 protease and from the whole polyprotein this is the region that is responsible for its function NS3 protease so uh, we uh, we cannot use the whole sequence because it is the whole polyprotein we only need this sequence the highlighted 
so we will uh, save its faster sequence of the whole polyprotein the similar thing I have done in homology modeling in my previous playlist uh, uh, perform docking learn learn how to perform docking uh, playlist so I I am I'm doing this as well in this video because I don't want you to be get confused and I want to do every step uh, let's save it in documents so I'll create uh, a folder homology model with modeler and I'll create a document word document uh, query sequence of NS3 protease you can choose any protein because I have experience of this protein working on this protein so I've chosen this one uh, I'll choose I'll, I'll copy the whole sequence and paste into the whole uh, into the browser uh, sorry into the word file uh, so uh, where was it yeah and s3 protease is uh, from 10 61 to 1209 so I'll locate the region first of all I need to get rid of this enter sign uh, I'll replace the sign with uh, its care sign P to uh, donate the enter sign and I'll replace it with none uh, yeah so it is done because it reads uh, the enter sign uh, as one character so uh, it is saying that the region NS3 protease is from the uh, residue number 1061 to 1209 so we'll locate the residue number 1061 let's move that ten six one yeah it is from this region to twelve zero nine to twelve zero nine must be somewhere here yeah yeah it is yeah this highlighted yellow region is the sequence for NS3 protease is 1061 to 1209 yeah so we'll uh, copy the highlighted region and this is our query sequence that need to be modeled So NS3 protease. So uh, we we have got the sequence of the query protein that need to be modeled. So we'll go for blast and look for uh, the proteins that are more similar to this uh, query sequence. We will go for protein blast. 
we'll copy the sequence yeah we'll copy the sequence and uh, we'll cho we should choose protein data bank because we need to find the protein which has a more resemblance with this curious sequence from protein data bank and this is blast p and we'll go for blast it will take some time for giving us result yeah so we'll we'll click on this percentage identity to arrange the the entries in descending order the more the the sequence with more identity will will come at the top so these are the uh, are the proteins which are which are having more resemblance with the curie sequence so, so we these we will use uh, top four of them as our template proteins because we will uh, tell the modeler uh, that is the software which will model our query protein that these are the templates you should look to these template and model our query protein according to these templates so we'll uh, download these template proteins we'll go to pdb these are the pdb id these are the pdb id and uh, these uh, are unique ids to uh, which refers to a particular protein which has been deposited to pdb so we will uh, give these pdb id to download the proteins 3p8n 3p8n So we'll download it uh, its PDB format. Similarly, uh, we'll go for 4i31. We'll download this this one as well. 4i31. Yes. We'll download its PDB format. And then comes for I three two. We'll download its PDB format as well. Then comes four K T C. Uh, for where it is for KTC yes PDB format so all of them has been downloaded all the templates and we have already got this curry protein sequence so we will uh, proceed with the next video uh, for modeling the curry protein on unmodeler. Thank you very much.